Um, okay, we can now create our first um, entity or model inside the entities folder. So I'll create one called users dot entity dot TypeScript. Okay, oops. So first thing I need to import uh, from type RM a couple of things. First thing is the entity decorator and the primary column, the primary generated column decorator and the column decorator. Okay, now we can create our class. So export class users in TT. So in JavaScript, it's a common uh, practice to name your uh, classes or constructor functions as capital case, uh, no, sorry, as Pascal, you know, they are both capital. It's just like camel case, but the first character is also capital. Okay, so now we just define a number class that maps the tables, the columns in our table. So ID is a number, uh, first name is a string, last name also string, and for example, is active boolean and birth dead. One second, the uh, screen just froze. Okay, the birth date is dead, and the password is string. Okay, so this class represents the columns in our table, in our users table. But uh, to make TypeRM understand that, we need to decorate this class. So first thing, we need to tell it that this is an entity, this is a model. So add entity here. Oops. Uh, yes, like this. This is now registered as an entity. But uh, to make TypeRM aware of it, you need to put it inside the connection. We will do this eventually, but uh, this is the first step to do decorate it as entity. Now for each column, you need to decorate it as a column or in case of the ID, which in my case, it will be auto increment. So add the primary generated column. And this will take a handle of this ID. So the first one is one, then two, three. Um, I think it's very similar in type or in Mongo, sorry. So object ID is, is this one. You will use this type for uh, MongoDB. Okay. So I need to decorate the first column, the first name with column decorator, and also this one. So basically all of them. Let me put spaces. So with this tool, we'll take this name and uh, with the type and define it in the database. So this would be var cars. This is boolean. This is date, and it will use the same name. But I I don't like the name in the database to be camel cast. I like them to be underscore. A quick solution is just to name them like this. But this is not good in or, or it's not like not good, but it's not a common practice in JavaScript. Camel cast is the common uh, practice in JavaScript. So we can fix that by putting, by passing an object to the column decorator, like name will be first name. So this is uh, the name in the, the table of in the database. Sorry, the name of the column in the database, first underscore name, and this is the name of the property when you retrieve the data from the database. So when you write in your TypeScript, you will access this the first name uh, value for each user by you passing, sorry, by, by uh, using the first name as camel case. But in the table, it will be named as first underscore name. So this is a cool thing that uh, this library provide. And another thing is the nullable. So I'll put this as false. So now the database won't allow null values. We can just copy this and Add the same thing to the last name, like this. 
and I think all of them will have the same condition even there is active like this so I don't I don't want it to be the same um, case also the birth date I, I actually wrote this wrong so you can also pass the type this will override this one but it's the, it's the same thing in our case and the password will be not a bit false actually there's so many options for this column decreator we might def uh, change them but uh, a good thing you can do is just to press ctrl or command in mac and click on the function or the decreator it's just functions so as you can see these are the options you can read about them all so this is the type the name the length if you are uh, using varchar string i'm not sure about the width not that we use that read only i think maybe some databases i'm not sure about yeah i think this has to do with the orm itself so it will prevent you from doing some stuff so there are so many options uh, unique i think this one is really nice this will create the index unique uh, the index which makes each value unique maybe this yeah i think i forgot to add the email so column don't need the properties here so just email string and unique to true right this is a good thing uh, you have enums you can define enums so I usually like to define enums for example the type of the user so admin user um, super user these things I usually define them as enum I hate when people put them at number because after a couple of years uh, it's really hard to know what these numbers means uh, and except if you go and keep asking people around you uh, uh, putting them as enum would be a much better idea okay but uh, a common practice also in the database to add the created ad and the updated ad right and these are timestamps but this will be in all our entities so i think we can just create a sh uh, like an entity that is shared and we will extend it everywhere and this will just work so i'll create a file called share uh, prop to help out the typescript um, basically, I will just um, import from type RM the update dead column and the create dead column. Now I'll export class called chat prop, and I I want to create this as an entity. I don't need this to be an entity in my database. I just need to extend it in other entities. So these two columns will be the created ad and updated ad will be added to each uh, entity. Okay, so first thing I will use the create uh, date column on this property. So created ad of type date. And this will accept a couple options as an object. So first thing is the default. It will be a, f a callback function that retains that current type stamp string, right? So this is the default value in the database. And that now the type will be date time. And name will be create, sorry, created at with underscore. And I think you need to put here timestamp and or you might want to add this in, in case of Postgres or MySQL, uh, but in SQLite the, we do not, they do not support that. So I will just put the time. Uh, the same thing for the updated ad. I'll just make things faster now. So the same thing, but the name is different. So what I need to do now in the users entity, I need just to extend that, right? And that will do it. That will add these two properties here. And I'll show you a cool thing that we can do. So usually when you uh, import things from libraries, you'll just import them from one place. 
for example this but it makes sense that they won't define everything in the same file and just export it from there so they are using something uh, that is similar to, to what I'm about to show you so in some way they create this index uh, the TypeScript and they export every they import and export everything from here so export from uh, user.entity export the user's entity so this is export with import <laughs> at the same time so and inside our app.ts we can just import from entities and by default the uh, import module uh, will just look at the uh, uh, it, it will just look at any file that named index.typescript or javascript in this in this directory so I don't need to type uh, index like this and I can just access the user entity so all our entities will be accessible from this, this path which is very nice so you can just import all the other entities like this uh, and the path will be just short and it's just on one line Another thing that here you can just if you not if you need just like to quickly overwrite any any names you can just come here in one place and just change it. Or well, you know I don't think this is uh, maybe that useful because you need to change it here, right? Yeah. But uh, anyway, this is what they usually <laughs> this is what they usually do. For example, in this case. Okay, so let's continue. This is getting really long. So entities. You need to add an array of entities here so i'll add the user entities or you can just add a rule that uh, okay type or m go look inside a specific folder for all the files that ends with typescript these are all entities go extract them from there but i don't like that i like them uh, like this okay so even if we run this now it won't uh, put our uh, table inside the database so we need to do something which is call a function called synchronize so under the connection we can call uh, await connection dot synchronize and if you pass it through to it it will drop everything and just rebuild everything once again so i usually put that in development and i will put a comment here so you can know Okay, now I think I can just set it. Uh, exit. Yes. No. Okay. So npm run ts node app.ts. Okay, this should have now our table. Let's look at it. So open that as Okay, so inside our database we have this users entity which have all our um, columns. Let me expand this. And which is nice. If you I don't like this naming the user entities. So we can override this by going inside our user entity, just adding up an options into the entity director, the creator, so name, just users. We can run this again. But I don't think this will drop the users entity. Um, you need to drop that by yourself. And I need to reconnect. So, oh, oh it, nice. So it, it re-dropped, sorry, it, dropped everything before that and here we have our users uh, table which is nice 